okay so this is our interactive dashboards so we know that as part of 2016 microsoft has released a new feature known as interactive service hub that is basically for uh, customer service agents and they can see their interactive experience dashboards at one place they can take do all their operation there right so now if you want to uh, show some dashboards in an interactive experience service hub what all you are going to display there is nothing but interactive dashboard so how is it related to entity that you might be wondering so basically earlier or prior to 2016 we had only one type of dashboard that you can see here and these are generic not specific to any entity all these are dashboards customer service manager dashboard field service administrator dashboard and all that from 2016 onwards they come up with a second time of dashboard that is entity specific you can see here right so this is nothing but interactive dashboard so interactive dashboards are entity specific you can create a dashboard for contact you can create another for account you can create for case and all that then this dashboard you can use in the interactive service so very simple so you can create it from two places either you can create it from the entity here or you can go to the normal dashboard section there also you can create your interactive dashboards from so very simple you don't need to apply much brain on it just like you create a normal dashboard you need to select a layout a selected four column overview layout this is very similar to how you create a normal dashboard sample contact dashboard this is for a contact entity and what is the entity views use Act active contacts filter by yeah anniversary or birthday So now interactive dashboard we have two concepts. So in normal dashboard we'll add views and charts. Here in addition to that we have one more concept known as streams. Okay. So maybe I will show you the interactive dashboard first. Then come here. We'll go to settings, the application interactive service hub. So here, these are known as interactive dashboards, knowledge manager, tier 1, tier 2, etc. So if I go to tier 1 dashboard, this is not tier 1, let's go to tier 2. So, this, you know, to make this kind of a dashboard. So, this area is known as streams, and these are nothing but the charts, and these are known as cards. Okay. So, I will add a stream of active contacts. Oh, sorry, a uh, small correction this is known as streams these are known as normal views and this charts views charts the two we are familiar with one more addition that is streams so i added one stream over here like that i can add more active accounts i can select my active accounts i want to show multiple dif uh, different uh, variety of information i can create my own views I can add it here okay so I added that like I can add chart also
so here I can select charts contacts by accounts I'm going to add like that I can add contacts by country two charts have I added and two streams I have added okay let me save it so we created one interactive dashboard and after that you need to enable for interactive experience also for this particular entity so what I need to do is we are on contacts and to, con to the contact entity here is an option enable for interact experience when I enable it then only the list dashboard node will appear here so if I go look for contract you cannot see that here dashboard because for contact price list one this one right contact price list this is not enabled so two steps one is you need to enable it second thing is you need to create a dash a dashboard and I need to save it I need to publish it and let's see we can see that dashboard okay so ideally uh, now we have created the dashboard okay and that dashboard need to be appear here whatever we have created so it's not appearing here so something maybe went wrong Let's try to create from here one. Account.
अच्छा ओके Okay, so let me quickly create one and save it and publish it. so let's not spend a lot of time on it so this is the basics of interactive dashboards so unlike normal dashboard interactive dashboards are specific to a particular entity and the use of creating interactive dashboard is to display on the interactive service hub that's a new feature added in crm 2016 okay so let's give a try whether it is appearing here ideally should appear here now here you go sample activity dashboard so we don't have any data on that one that's what we show not showing any data so what do you basically need to do you need to go to the dashboard section there you need to create new interactive da experience dashboard 